Hey there, South Africa! It's the daily news wrap from the SouthAfrican.com. It's Friday, the 19th of March, 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, President Cyril Ramaphosa and his fellow VIP mourners made a speedy escape from the royal palace in KZN after they were initially blocked from leaving the funeral of Zulu King Zuelethini by a large group of unruly protesters. The main gates to the event were blocked off by around 100 people forming a Zulu regiment disgruntled that they couldn't enter the event in their full traditional gear. Members of the president's security team were informed about the ruckus up ahead. With their only means of exiting compromised, several guards on duty made light work of dismantling a nearby fence, allowing the president motorcade to make its way through. In other news, SOAS University of London School of Oriental and African Studies has instructed its directors, Professor Adam Habib, to step aside from his duties at the institution pending an independent investigation into his use of the N-word just recently. The former Wits University Vice-Chancellor and Principal sparked outrage after a video clip of his virtual sitting with the students went viral in which he can be seen defending his use of the N-word. This quickly caught attention of the South Africans including the members of the Economic Freedom Fighters who called for the institution to fire him. Meanwhile, one lucky individual in the United States stumbled upon an incredibly rare antique ball worth millions. An incredibly rare antique ball, which dates back to the 15th century China, was sold for approximately 10.6 million rand by Sotheby's on Wednesday, 17 March. The anonymous seller purchased the ball for just 571 rand at a yard sale in Connecticut in the United States. In your sports today, Orlando Pirates winger Demin Kosi Loch has reportedly handed in a transfer request to the club in an effort to seal a move abroad. According to the Pakathi source, Loth has received an enticing offer from an unnamed Belgian club and the player is keen to leave at the end of the season. In other news, Kaiser Chiefs coach Gavin Hunt has confirmed that goalkeeper Itumelen Kune will play no part in Sunday's Soweto Derby due to COVID-19 protocols. Kaiser Chiefs are set to face rivals Orlando Pirates for a fourth time this season and will be looking to avoid a fourth straight derby defeat under the hunt. Kickoff on Sunday, 21st March at the FNB Stadium scheduled at 1500 hours. In your weather today, Bloemfontein is 29 degrees, Cape Town comes at 22, Pretoria is 27 and Johannesburg remains at 25 degrees. And that's all the news you really need to know from the South African today. Subscribe for more of these audio paper straight to your mobile device every morning. For more of these and other stories, please visit thesouthafrican.com. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.